You don't see why on the board? And they ask you you're solving for why. Whenever you see, you see why, you have to do inverse operation. Does that make sense? It doesn't matter that there's numbers or no numbers. If they ask you to solve for, you to identify what are you looking for in the first place. Does that make sense? So here I'm looking for why. My objective, so I'm going to black it. Identify where my variable is. So anything that on that side need to shift on the other side by using inverse operation, right? Which one would that we are going to shift? AX. AX, so we have to move it by doing a different operation. In this case, what will you do? Subtract. You will subtract. If you don't see a sign, it's because it's positive, therefore I have to subtract AX on this side. That's all you have to do, just follow the, the direction. This can sell each other out. Does that make sense? Now I can bring this as what? BY equal uh, A, A negative AX alphabetical order plus, plus C. C. Now I need to get Y by itself. Then what should I do? Divide by B. Then I'm going to divide by B. Then I'm done, people. If you know how to solve, that's what you need to do. It's just simple as that. Then this can sell out, right? And I will have y equal negative a over b x plus c over b. My equation is in what format now? Slow and slow intercept form exactly, guys. And pay good attention. I just solve for y. Then this is my equation. Become this way. Whatever coefficient in front of the x is my slope. And they lose them without the variable is my y intercept. Another word. When my equation is in standard form, this is my slope. Okay? This is a formula. When your equation is in standard form, your slope will always be negative a over b. We know equation is standard form. And my y intercept, which is little b, will always c over b. Right? If you identify your equation in standard form, you don't have to do anything. Just identify the coefficient of a, the coefficient of b, and the coefficient of c, and use this formula that is your slope. This is your formula that is your. B, then you can watch your equation in slope intercept form. Does that make sense? So, example. Right? Earlier you have that equation, which is 3x minus 2y is equal to 12. Now, what is the A value? 3. A is 3, according to that. What is B? Negative 2. What do you see? 12. 12. Now we're going to find your slope here. According to that, my slope will always be negative what? A, which is what? Negative 3 over B. What is B? Negative 2. Negative 2. This is my slope. Which is that? When you simplify that? 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Now, my B is what? C over B. In this case, what is C? 12 over negative 2. 12 over? Negative 2. Negative 2. In this case, what is B? Negative 6. Negative 6. Now, I have my slope. I have my y-intercept. In this case, what will be my equation? My equation will be y equal? 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Plus. What? Plus. Two I mean, minus 6. X. Minus six. six. This is my equation, slope intercept form, without not solving for it. Does that make sense? Good. So that's what you will have to do when your equation is in standard form. If you have issued with solving, add a BC. Does that make sense? Then that will be for everything for you. You don't have to sweat out. That's an easy way for many of you, a short way, alternative way. Does that make sense? What's your equation needing what format? Standard form. Right? 
So that's where you will have to be aware of. If you have issues with solving excess, it doesn't matter if fraction or not, then it will work out. So let's go over those questions. Then you may recall some of those questions, then I will pose them for you. May I clear the board or you write those things down? Yeah. When you yeah, subtract the same value, it's going to be zero. So that's for, that's for you always end up. That was number 22, if you were to grab it. Number 30. What's number, what is number 30? Negative. Negative 2. Madness. Negative 1. It's not negative 1. Just one? Yeah. All right. You got it four. You got it five. You got it five. In this case, I have, I have to find the slope. Mm -hmm. And since also they ask you to stretch it, therefore, we'll have to plan those questions. Let's plan them first. Hmm? They ask to stretch it? All right. We are going to find the slope. When I'm doing the slope, I call this as my X1. Y1, right? Mm -hmm. X2, Y2. And my, the slope formula is M equal Y sub two minus Y sub one over X sub two minus X sub one. The only thing I have to do now is to come substitute those things, those parameters in the formula. And I will have M equal, what is my Y2 in this case? I will have negative 5 minus 1 over negative 4 minus negative 2. Here, I need to take in care of that. So let's work as your numerator. What will you get for your numerator? Negative 6. The sign are the same. You add and keep the sign. So that will be negative 6. This will be negative 4 plus... Two. What is negative 4 plus 2? Negative 2. This is negative 2. Now I have negative 6 over negative 2. What is my slope? 3. This is positive 3. What does it ask you to do? You have to add an equation? No. Just find the slope? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Then that's easy. Then you're done. Right? You missed that.